Well, this uh, intermediate class certainly uh, showing us that uh, you can still be a very good uh, motocrosser but not compete at the highest level. Yes, the guys that are in MX1 class, they're physically training hard, they're pushing hard, they've got the boss, best bike preparation, best uh, accessories, uh, latest and greatest in machinery generally, not always the case, but you get the idea. And uh, they've got a lot of nicknames, these guys, sometimes called the weekend warrior, but they're way above that. Weekend warriors, they're just guys that go around in circles on racetracks. These are still very good riders, but not just at that uh, elite uh, championship level. So you've got to love them, and we certainly do. And I hope they're having an awesome weekend being part of our final as well. So the intermediate overs out there and 33, the legend. There's uh, not too many super legends in our sport. This guy would be one of them. Mr. Darren Capel um, shifted to uh, Tybee at a young age, started here in Mini Motocross. His father started Mini Motocross in New Zealand right here at Digger McEwen Park. So uh, neat to see 33, Darren Capel. Capes, uh, Janelle, lovely to have him back here in Taupo. He always looks sort of an excuse to come home now up in uh, Fokotani and uh, still loving his uh, moto. So uh, check him out, 33. And I'll tell you what, he's under a bit of a pressure there at the moment, is he? I think it might be Sam Guys that's uh, doing a bit of kicking it and whipping it out there in front. Sam, of course, former uh, MX3 uh, champion in the New Zealand moto scene, went up to uh, MX1, the young man as he was. He was still only at school when he won the MX3 a couple of years ago. And the young man uh, now taking an opportunity to uh, get a bit of a break from the sport, but now making a comeback here at Taupo today on the Langman's uh, motorcycles uh, uh, CRF 450. There he goes, his old favourite number, 161, Sam Guys from Wider Lapa. There we go, uh, Sam Cleland, 192, 146, Mark Satanovich at 33 with DC himself and uh, Capes uh, winning the last one, but he's back there in fourth line. That's a very good top four that we've got in this intermediate class to, uh, to see out there. Those uh, four very good uh, riders on board, so uh, still going it hard. And you have a look at the lap times, folks. I talk about this percentage. If you've got the MX1 runners, front runners, doing a 2.06, these guys doing maybe a 2.16, you're only talking about minor percentage uh, a difference between those other uh, uh, competitors. So uh, still great motocrosses. And we've got a good family man like Darren Capel and a hard-working bloke. Always an opportunity to uh, follow his motocross. So well done, guys. Loving it. The intermediate overs. Yes, indeed, uh, kids and uh, big kids and adults and everybody on board. Yes, indeed, they're down our uh, pit lane at the moment. Good opportunity to get our posters over here, whether it be at HLR Husqvarna or uh, Alpine Window Systems, JCR uh, Yamaha, of course, over here with Honda Racing 323 uh, Kawasaki, and uh, as well to look out for our uh, others. So, hey, take the opportunity and uh, get behind uh, teams and our uh, riders today. Uh, all looking out very good.